Raccoon, House Nig, Sellout, Uncle Tom, Bounty, Coconut, and if you can think of some others, then feel free to write them down in the comment box below. But I don't care. And I know I'm going to get after this video, but as I said, I don't care. And one thing I don't care about as well is this Black Lives Matter that's going on in America. Because someone needs to answer this question for me. Why is it that it's always certain types of black people that get murdered in America? Now, there's always that rare case, that one-off case where... There's a black person who is an upstanding member of the community. Forget about their profession, but they are just generally a decent person who, you know, they can represent the black community well. But on the other hand, 99% of the time, the black people in America are not upstanding. They are always ghetto trash. Who They can't offer the community nothing. They probably, most of them are in gangs. They commit crimes. Now, I'm no saint. I used to be in a gang before and I used to commit crimes. So I'll put my hands up and say that. Yeah, but I have changed. And I remember I used to encounter the police a lot more frequently when I was out on the road and I was in a gang and I was doing foolishness. But now that I've come out of that, my mind frame has changed. Maybe... If I was still in a gang, maybe I would think, oh yeah, you know, the police are just targeting black people for the sake of it. But they're not targeting black people for the sake of it. They're only targeting specific types of black people. These are the black people who are going out and they're committing crimes, sleeping and having multiple baby mums, not doing nothing with their life, probably on some kind of benefit if they, and or selling drugs. It's always certain types of black people. And I'll tell you now, right? I'll tell you right now. Watch it now. I don't give a fuck that the police in America kill certain types of black people for no reason. I don't care. Because, you know what? <laughs> people seem to think, yeah, that the police only kill black people in this world or the the police only target black people in this world in america hold on a minute so you think right that the police in jamaica who are black right who are black don't kill other black people you don't think right that the police in poland who are white don't kill other white polish people now it probably happens less in those countries. Well, I know it is frequent in Jamaica, but it probably happens less in some other countries. But nevertheless, it still happens in other countries like Brazil, other corrupt countries. But it's always certain types of black people that get killed by the police. And it's their fault. It's the black people's fault. I don't care what anyone says. They put themselves in the line of fire. When I was out doing crimes and in the gang and having fights, I was always getting picked up by the police. But when I changed myself and I became more mature, I didn't get any attention from the police. Now, I still get attention from the police, but it's always when I'm on my motorbike because, you know, I'm young, I'm black. I like to do wheelies on my bike. So I draw attention to myself. So I know I'm putting myself in the line of fire. But if you're in America and you know that, the police are going on with this brutality nonsense, right? You need to start ghosting and you need to live a positive life. Because, you know what, it's, fu it's funny, right? So these people, they know, right, that the police are going on a rampage in America. Yeah, I don't know if it's happening right, well, I'm assuming it's still happening right now anyway. But they know that the police are going on a rampage in America. And when they get picked up by the police, right, instead of being more compliant and playing the game, as I always say, nah, they want to hype up to the police. If you know the police are trigger happy, why the hell are you going to start running your mouth? Why? 
I, it's so stupid as well because there are people in this country that I've heard of. I've seen black people in this country as well, right? Some people I know, some people, most people I don't know, but I've seen black people and how they react to police in in this country, and it's so childish and it's so cowardly and it's so immature. I've seen black people get stopped by the police, and they start running up their mouth. They wanna, they're acting like they wanna fight the police, giving the, the police, you know, trouble. Yes, maybe the police are stopping them for no reason. The reason behind it is because other black people that look like them are committing crimes. So that's why we are stereotyped. So when the police stop them, they run up their mouth. They know that they're innocent, but they run up their mouth to the police. Oh, why are you stopping me? And they, they, they're swearing at the police and they want to do all this crazy stuff. And well, that's the police. But it's cowardly. Do you know why? Because these are the same cowards, right? When they're at work, their boss might talk to them in a certain way or you know, make them do crap jobs or belittle them. And they don't say a damn thing. But they want to run out their mouth to the police because they think they can get away with it. Right? That's what people do in this country. In America, they might get a bullet in their head, which is unfortunate, right? But if you know the police are going on with brutality and all this crazy stuff, you need to be a bit more smart with how you conduct yourself with the police. I'm telling you, I could go out to America, right, and live there for 10 years, right? I might get stopped. Yeah, I probably will get stopped, maybe. Because apparently the police stop all black people, allegedly. But once they speak to me, they will let me go. I could guarantee you, I could go to America. I will not get shot by no police. I could I, I could put strong money on it. I would. I have no fear of going to America and getting shot or stopped. Getting stopped by the police and getting shot by the police. Yeah, I would get stopped by the police, probably. But I, I will not get shot by the police. Because I know how to conduct myself. Because I'm not some flipping feral animal anymore. This Black Lives Matter thing, right, is just an excuse for black people to not get off their fat ass and make something of their life. I was at um, a family function not too long ago. And it was funny as well. Uh, my friend invited me there and then there was another woman. Um, you know, my friend knows who she is. Grown woman, you know, old enough to be our mum and stuff like that. And she was talking about, oh, there's no opportunities for uh, black people or, or young black men, allegedly, right? So it was funny. Obviously, my friend knows I do these YouTube videos and stuff. So he was having this discussion with her. And I knew it. And he confirmed it when he said to me after. He was like, yo, Jay, how come you didn't say anything? I was expecting you to, to, to intervene. Because they were on the other side of the room. So, do you know, at the end of the day, right, I heard the conversation going on. And I know I have a good opinion and a strong opinion. Uh, opinion opinionated. But... I wasn't invited into the conversation, so I just left it. And you know, I don't always like to be I always like to be unpredictable because I knew my friend was expecting me to get involved, but I just kept my mouth shut because I was just listening. And there was no point in me even debating with this person. She was saying that there are no opportunities for black men. Yes, there are. Trust me, there are. But they don't want to go out and look for them. And then when you have women and mothers, right, or parents, or you know, guardians, uncles, aunties, whoever, right? If you have parents who they, they have that sort of default mindset where, oh, there's no jobs for our young black men. Because I don't know about with the black men, but there are no jobs for our young, uh, our young black men, right? When they have that type of mentality and then their sons are teenagers or young, um, young, young adults in their 20s. So they go out to a job interview or they're looking for jobs and they can't get a job, right? They will report back to their parents. They will report back to their parents and they'll say, mom. I didn't get this job. And she'll be like, don't worry. They're not giving out jobs to black people. So then that young person, they, they, they have that mindset where, oh, you know what? I can't get a job because I'm black. And I, I'll tell you another thing that a lot of black people say. People have said it to me. Family members said it to me. You know, maybe like uh, friends have said it to me. Even my own mum said it to me, which is wrong. She said, the, 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 I've heard people say this. Because you are black, you have to work twice as hard and that is absolute garbage that is listen i'm doing really well for myself but obviously in these videos i'm not going to start revealing what i've got and how i got it but i will eventually but i'm doing well for myself and all i did was just get focused and study you know put money aside save my money and start investing in things here and there i just got focused <laughs> Being black doesn't mean you have to work twice as hard. I think what they should have said is to be successful, 
you have to work twice as hard. Yeah, yeah. To be successful, you have to work 10 times as hard. Yeah. I mean, like, truly successful. I don't mean just having a, a, a mansion. I mean, to reach your best, your best self. Yes, you have to work 10 times as hard because success doesn't come easy. But if anyone ever says, oh, you, yeah, you know, you, because you're black, you have to work twice as hard. That is absolute garbage. That's an excuse for failing. That's an excuse for not being the best version of yourself. I don't care that the police are going around murdering these people who are not upstanding members of the community. Yeah, get rid of them. Lock them up. Do get rid of them. Do you know why? Because they're making people like me look bad. They're, they're, they're affecting and they're bringing down the black community. God knows, not that I believe in God, but God knows, right? Well, obviously, we all know what, 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 what white people think of black people. But they must just... People... The white people who have never met a black person before, right? Maybe, maybe obviously, some, maybe some rural areas in, in England where they live in villages or whatever. But the people who live abroad, right, in different countries, you know, Poland, Eastern Europe, they must think all black people are absolute idiots. Like, they must actually, actually think that all black people go out there and commit crimes... They have no jobs, they sell drugs, and they have women with multi they have, they have they have babies with multiple women and they don't look after their children. They must think that. And you know what? They probably are somewhat right to think that because that is the majority. That is the majority of black people. People seem to think, yeah, that black people are of a lower class. It's not that. It's just that's how they carry themselves. They carry themselves as a lower class. So that's why when, when people look at black people, they look at black people as being a lower class. Black people are not of a lower class. They are not inferior. But they carry themselves as if they are inferior. They carry themselves as if they have no brain. Ah, man. Well, that's, that's, that's enough for today's rant. But... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I have no mercy for all of these, um, the, all this flipping Black Lives Matter movement. I don't care. What actually inspired me to make this video was because my friend posted um, a link on Facebook about um, a man was murdered in America by the police, I think. And what the courts done was they paid the family $4 of compensation. I think that's bull. I think I think it's rubbish, right? But I do believe he got murdered by the police, obviously. But I think that they paid him four dollars, right? They they paid the family four dollars in compensation is absolute garbage. But obviously they post up a picture of this man, and as soon as I looked at him, they say you, you can't judge a book by by its cover, yeah. I I I I I am the definition of that because I know I look a certain way, but I am I'm not like that, right? Anymore, anyway. But I looked at this guy. And I looked at this picture and I just knew, I knew what this guy was about. I could, I, you could tell a lot by just by looking at someone. I mean, if this guy was still alive, right, I could, I could even guarantee you how he speaks, how he conducts himself. He probably has a flipping, a conviction list as long as my arm. He probably, because he was in the picture with, uh, I think his missus and, and, and some babies, right. He probably has multiple different babe mums around the place, but that's, that, that's by the by. But I could guarantee you, right, that man is not an upstanding member of the community. That guy, you know, you know, the, you know the thing as well, right? I was supposed to have ended this video already, but I'm going on a tangent now, right? Black people, they wanna, they, they wanna like talk about all this freedom for black people and you know Martin Luther King and stuff like that. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and all those great black leaders, right? They'll be turned over in their graves. They'll be turned over there in their graves. So. You know, we, 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 we abolished slavery. Slavery got abolished, right? But then, you know, you want to you wanna take the piss, right? And not make nothing of your life, right? So black people, you know, fought through slavery and stuff like that. And now we've been given equal opportunities, right? Which that may be subject to a, a opinion. Yeah, some people will still say, you know, there aren't equal opportunities for black people. Fine. But they, we've been given opportunities to be able to make something of our lives. But no, we don't want to do that. We, 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 we don't want to make nothing of our lives, right? What we want to do is we want to do foolishness. We want to disrespect our forefathers forefather, who fought for us, especially the ones in America who fought for the, America, the American black people to be free. 
what they want to do is they just want to F around. Like, I don't like to swear, but, you know, it's starting to get peed off right now, right? They, they want to mess around, right? And they want to, they want to, they want, they want to actually disrespect our, our forefathers by not taking opportunity to make something of our lives, or, or, or of their lives. And I know people like Malcolm X and Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King and all the rest of them, they would be turning over in their graves at the way black people in America and black people around the world, but especially the black people in America, are acting. They basically... Rosa Parks and all those black people, they basically wasted their fucking time. But anyway, my barber's coming now to give me a haircut, so I'm going to have to run. But if you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like the video, change the station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in, come in, come in. All right, I'm out. Yeah, so I just finished getting my haircut, so I'm going to continue this video just for a little bit more. Black people love the fact that the police are murdering other black people subconsciously because it's an excuse as to why they fail. It's an excuse as to why they are not successful. The people in this world, it's not just, it's not just exclusive to black people, but people in this world who fail and they will never succeed, they love excuses. They love a reason why they cannot succeed. And things like Black Lives Matter or black on black crime or racist bosses. They, they love things like that because that's a reason for them, quote unquote, that's a reason for them to not succeed because there's always someone, someone holding you back. Listen, there is no one holding you back but yourself. Unless, in America, they were doing some social cleansing thing where they go around and murder black people, right? That's different, but that doesn't exist, right? Some people may say, oh yeah, that does exist because of what the police are doing, but it's only certain types of black people who are victimised. Most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's a certain specific category of black people who are victimised. But people just need an excuse they subconsciously like the fact that, you know, black people are, are treated a certain way in America. So that when they fail or they don't make nothing of their lives, they will say, ah, that's, that's, that's the reason why I didn't make it. That's the reason why I didn't get that job, because my boss is racist. That's the reason why I get pulled over by the police or I get harassed by the police. Most of those people that get harassed by the police and they and they and, and 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 you know they're not doing anything with their lives, right? Just check their history. A lot of them, you know, they they they're into crime and you know guns and drugs and stuff. But the Black Lives Matter thing, it's big in America because people just need an excuse. Everyone loves everyone loves to talk about stuff. Everyone, they love it. Even when that there was some business going on in um, Libya or whatever. I'm not saying, right, you, you shouldn't talk about it, right? But why are you going to al allow something, right? Because I think there was some slave business going on with Lib in Libya with the black people, right? You are in England. You are in the UK. Mind your own damn business. Why are you allowing, right, what's going on in Libya or some other country to affect what you're doing? It has nothing to do with you. Let, let the people in Africa deal with it. Let the people in that country deal with it. People, they, it's so funny. People want to, they, they want to stick their nose in things that got nothing to do with them, and then they wonder why they, their lives are shit. They wonder why they haven't made made nothing of themselves. They wonder why they they're not successful because they're not focusing on themselves. You do have to be somewhat selfish. All this Brexit thing, all, all, all of these things that, that that are in coming into place that might affect us, right? Well, might affect you guys, right? I don't give a damn about them. I, I don't care. Personally, right, it's just, for me, right, with this Brexit thing, oh, house prices might drop or house prices might increase. I don't care. I'll just roll with the punches. All it is to me, right, it's just a hurdle, right? And in my life, I'm expecting to come across a lot of hurdles. I'm expecting to get stuck in, stuck in the mud, get stuck in quicksand. I'm expecting for people to try and pull me down or try and hold me back. It's fine. Because... 
it's, it's, a, it's all a test. It's a test of my strength. The only competition in this world is you. Unless you live in the, you, unless you live in a country where there are laws in place, right? That say, black. If you are black, yeah, black people are not allowed to get jobs or anything like that. But that that doesn't that does not exist in America or the UK anymore. So it's just an excuse. Everyone, all these people who are unsuccessful, there's always one. There's always one thing in common. They make excuses. If there even there, there are black people, right? Some of my friends, right? They're, they're doing well for themselves, right? But I know, I know they truly will not become successful. They will not reach their best self, their be the best version of themselves, because they make excuses. They they harbour on about Black Lives Matter and stuff. It ain't got nothing to do with you. You live in the UK. Don't worry about what goes on in America. It's got nothing to do with you. Mind your own business. Focus on buying more houses. Focus on becoming the best version of yourself. If everyone thought like that, right? If everyone was on their job, right? As we used to say, you know, when I was on the street. If everyone was on, on, on their job. If everyone was, was doing what they needed to do, right? No one would be getting caught up with the police. No one would be, getting, no one would be in a position... To, to get stopped by the police as frequently as they do because you you'll be doing positive things you'll be at work from xyz time right and then when you come home from work you're working on your business you're working on you know working on bettering yourself in that time you know you go to clubs right like you know i, I go to taekwondo club so you know you, you go to the gym you keep yourself busy if right if you work from eight until five let's say right and then you come home Right, you shower, whatever, or you you go to the gym, and then if you don't go to the gym, you you um you know you go to like a martial arts club or a swimming club or a gymnastics club, or you know you're, you're doing other positive things or you're working on your business. But listen, your day is booked, right? You are busy. You wouldn't you don't have you won't have the time to get stopped by the police and get murdered by the police, right? Let's say if you're in America or if you're in the UK, right? You won't have the time for it, but. When you're not doing nothing with your life and you're making excuses, of course you're gonna get stopped by the police. Of course you will, because you are available for it. But this video is actually gonna end now because um, I, I need to go now. But um, yeah, all of that Black Lives Matter, it's just an excuse as to why black people are not succeeding. And subconsciously, they like it. Subconsciously, they need it because they need a reason to fail. But yeah, write down your comments, diss me, say what you like, I don't business. Make sure you subscribe if you like the video.